okay so um i feel like every time i i think that i finally know myself like oh i would never do that like i'm the type of person to do this to do that i prove myself wrong because you know because like i don't know like i just keep surprising myself like i am so unpredictable i am so unpredictable to the level that even i don't know what i'm gonna do next i don't know what i'm gonna fucking do next like you know one thing i've learned about myself is that i'm not fine with being number two and you know i don't mean it like oh i'm so good i'm so fucking great and like i'm i'm so good and you know not in an egoistic way like what like i really have i'm competitive like okay i knew i was competitive but like i'm still competitive as a kid i was very competitive like i'm still that way like i'm not fine with being number two ever i have been number two i've been fucking number six seven eight nine fucking nothing and i was never okay with that but ever since i got into college i started studying and i am the topper i am the best like every teacher loves me and all that but in the beginning um i had this professor he was uh kind of discriminatory he like i called him out in class by the way but he would like pay attention to girls more than guys um on a religious basis as well but he would pay more attention to the girls and in 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 that came the religion right he would pay attention more more attention to the girls who belong to his religion i'm not gonna say which religion should i like i don't know but um may, maybe it was the religion or maybe if she, if she was pretty like prettier than me um which i i guess she is but this it's not a problem i don't mind someone being prettier than me i just don't want to be treated as number two and i was the number two in class because he I, I, I was the second second priority because maybe of my because of maybe because of my religion or he just didn't find me attractive because you know he was a pervert he has got like i guess three or more cases of sexual harassment on him i don't know i'm not sure uh, but he has cases but i don't know how many so like um i was not fine with that and you know even though i, I know i'll be judged i know i'll be judged i judge myself for this but if i was his number one since the beginning i would have never called him out because i did end up calling him out i ended up like i ended up saying in class in my second semester like you only you only pay attention to this girl and then i was like and then you know when the argument it escalated i was like you only pay attention to the girls though by the way like this guy his name and whatever like ex guy he's so he's trying so hard and you you know you, you disrespect him first off you are very rude you disrespect him you don't respect the guys or the girls and you know um the girl he he had put as like his number one uh the number one priority he would actually spend so much time our class time teaching just her literally just her every time he would be like oh now you tell me what's the answer of this no it's not that like all the other kids would feel ignored i would feel ignored on the second number because I, if she didn't know the answer i was i was next he would ask me so like yeah i mean i just i just missed the like i just derailed my thoughts to derail i don't know yeah so like i don't know it felt good like venting but yeah do i look fat i'm not fat i'm actually skinny and i'm skinny okay that was the whole thing like i still i've embraced this like i've honestly embraced this like okay fine i hate being numbered i've embraced this i've i'm not i'm not like oh no it's a bad thing and like now in my class on the inside i know that it's, it is like at the end of the day it is not a good thing to be so competitive because i'm the type of girl who will do like i want academic validation i want validation from adults like i just want it if like right now currently even the professor used to discriminate i'm his priority because he got really scared of me so now he kind of like just he became a bootlicker whatever but like uh, i'm like every single teacher loves me right now and that's for me that's number one because i'm also you know doing the best in my class and i'm i'm actually like generally doing so good in my class like even the seniors know me um my chair my chair like you know i'm just kick, kissing my own ass but like my chairperson uh, the chairperson he knows me i have never met him i've never met him the new chairperson uh i've never met him he knows me and he suggested my name for you know something for something like a club of you know just i mean i'm doing great in class and i'm I, i'm 
the sucker for like academic validation and just validation from adults. That's all.